So you find that our Imam's main mission was firstly to ensure that the message of Imam said he was saving Islam. That Islam that should be saved is in fact indicated and taught the Ummah. When there was no way in which you could speak freely, you could not give sermons like Nahj Balagha. There was no way he could do that. So what he did was he actually uh, taught the fundamentals of religion through his prayer book, which is Saif Sajadi, Saif Kamila. The, the prayer book that he wrote, that he taught to his son, Imam Muhammad Bakr salam, that book which has been preserved. I know of scholars who are non-Muslim, who are Christian, who are Judaic, who have actually looked at Sahih Kamila, Sahih Sajadiyah, looked at the prayer book, looked at the translation, and come to wonderment that how the fundamental spirit is reflected on the, in the prayers. So this is a book that our Imam left as a legacy, so he taught that. The hmm. second thing that Imam salam, left as a legacy is Risalat al Hukuk. All the human rights, the rights of a neighbor, the rights of the wife, the rights of the mother, the rights of the parents, rights of a fellow human beings, hmm. the rights of a blood relatives, brothers and sisters, every, hmm. all the rights are reflected and taught. These are all being enshrined in principles that are in Risalat al Hukuk. Hmm. So our Imam has left that behind. Our fourth Imam is first of all institutes the institution of Azadari and weeping and lamenting for Imam Sayyidina hmm. Salaam. For that is one empowering, spiritually empowerment. You find that Imam Sayyidina's revolution is so spiritually empowering. It brings about such freedom of the spirit. People who are being oppressed, people who are being subjected to utter devastation, feel suddenly inner strength. Imam Sajjad salam institutes the weeping and crying, which is spiritually and lifting, spiritually purifying, spiritually empowering. 